Welcome to National Gold Consultants Wealth Insurance Presentation. I'm excited today because we're going to show you how to insure your wealth through gold and silver. So a little bit about National Gold Consultants. Uh, we are part of the Better Business Bureau. We are accredited with them and we have an A-plus rating. And our president, Mr. Ryan Long, he's a second generation owner with over 17 years of experience. So you're in great hands today and looking forward to sharing with you what this is all about. So what are we going to cover today? Well, today we're going to talk about who it is that we help, what it is you're trying to protect, and we're going to examine all the whys and where things are, where things are headed, and we'll go over some historical benchmarks that's going to help us all be on the same page. Then we'll examine why we use both gold and silver, and even more importantly, why our solution in the precious metal space is the one to use. So who do we help? Well, we help people from all walks of life. Maybe you're self-employed or a business owner, stock market investor, or real estate investor. Uh, maybe you have a small business or franchise. Maybe you've just inherited some money and you can be independently wealthy. Or even be firefighters, teacher, police, blue-collar workers, really anyone interested in having a real retirement and who have assets that we want to protect. So let's all do a fun little exercise. Let's pretend we're all retired tomorrow. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath. All right, open your eyes and here we are. Boom, we're retired. We're living that lifestyle that we've always wanted to live, spending time with family, giving back to charity. All those things are important. Okay, but since we're all retired, I just want to ask you one thing. How protected is the money you have? How protected is what we've worked so hard to build and nurture? What's going to happen when the next stock market adjustment happens? Or what happens when the next housing market crash? Or the government just keeps printing money What's going to happen with our nest egg that we've secured? I mean, just look at our current market. I mean, it's pretty ugly out there, right? I'm sure you can agree there's mass uncertainty in today's bond and equity markets. The dollar keeps dropping in value each time we charge one of those stimulus packages that go out. I mean, these things may have temporarily gotten better again, but as another wave comes through of this economic COVID hits, uh, places like music venues, more and more restaurants and nightclubs, many small mom and pop businesses are going to go under, not to mention even large retailers. I mean, the backlash will be bad and it's going to be swift. And then it's going to get worse when all these mortgages and loans, both commercial and residential, start coming due beginning of the year and people can't make those payments. And it'll even get worse when the housing market begins to crash after unemployment benefits eventually run out. Well, you might say, I'm following that 10% rule, right? I've already made the decision to put 10% of my assets into gold. And silver the problem is most people are doing it wrong and they don't understand how to do this and that's what we're going to share with you now is how the proper way to secure that 10 percent to offset when bad things happen in the market i mean this pandemic has kind of been like the titanic in a way um you know we've enjoyed the longest expansion in u.s history but it's been like dry timber just waiting for a spark to fly a downturn was coming we just didn't know what its cause was going to be or how severe it was going to be. And it's well worse than 2008. I mean, do you remember how hard it was for people on the brink of retirement in 2008? We're going to show you what happened with gold and silver versus the markets in just a minute. But first, let me ask you, do you know what's coming next? I mean, I don't know the future of the markets of exactly what they'll do. No one can predict exactly what's going to happen, right? But it feels like, and I'm sure you can agree with me, that we're boarding the Titanic we all know we're headed onto a sinking ship, and we're all getting on this boat, like it or not. Before we get into more about gold, let's look at the dollar and how it's lost its value. I mean, since 1913 and the creation of the Federal Reserve, the dollar has been losing purchasing power and actual value. We've lost over 98% of our purchasing power since then, but guess what? Gold and silver has lost zero purchasing power. That's right, zero. Additionally, these markets have had numerous downturns. And proving why gold and silver is a hedge is so important. I mean, between October 2007 and the same date in 2009, the S&P 500 plummeted by a gut-wrenching 56.8%. In the same time period, gold went up 25.5%. In 2002, it went down 49% and gold went up 47%. And you can see similar results in 2002, 2011, and 1978. The other thing to look at is cost change, but gold and silver doesn't. I mean, you know you could get a candy bar back in the day for a nickel, 
milk for 25 cents. I mean, you could buy a car for 2,500 bucks. And you know, if you'd have bought $100 worth of gold today, it'd be worth $3,000. But if you would have just held on to that same $100 cash, what do you think you'd have today? A couple hundred bucks, right? Over time, gold and silver have been excellent investments, excellent protectors of wealth. Since the supply of gold and silver is limited, it means that it will appreciate, unlike dollars and shares of stock that they can print and issue at any time. There is a limited supply of gold and silver in the world, so just like you have insurance on your house, you need insurance on your wealth as well. So how do we know when to purchase gold? I mean, how do you know if it's a good time to buy? So let's talk a little bit about physical gold and silver. And I'll use an example back in 2008. We, we all know that was a rough time. And you remember what people went through who were on the brink of retirement. And I'll use an example of having a million dollar portfolio. And this is an example of what our clients would go through using our strategy with holding 10% of physical gold and silver. Now, if you would have had 10% held by physical gold and silver when your million dollar portfolio took a hit and it went down 540000 your $100,000 in gold and silver would have increased by $445,000. So you'd have barely took a hit with everybody else experiencing bloodbath at that time. If you would have had 20% in gold and silver, you actually would have made money in the 08 crash. A lot of money. I mean, can you imagine walking out of 2008 with your million dollar portfolio now equaling almost $1.4 million? This is why it's so important to have the wealth insurance. So allocating a portion of your portfolio towards buying metals is what you need to do. But you might say, well, where's the best place to actually go to buy and own gold and silver? Well, the right kind of gold and silver is when you have physical possession of the metals. Then you don't have to rely on the whims of a company or the market. You don't need a PIN number or access to an account or someone to hold your hand and take you through that process. It's actually right there in your hands. Gold and silver can be a currency exchange where you're converting dollars and printing and printing every day into hard currency. If you use the right kind of gold and silver, it's just as easy to convert your gold and silver coins back to dollars, especially with the information that I'm about to share with you. But first, it's also important to realize where not to go. Okay, you might be asking, uh, should I really be buying gold? Yes, but there's some disadvantages and risk. Okay, so remember, historically speaking, gold and silver only go down when the stock markets and currencies do well. So markets will rise and markets will fall. Precious metals are there to help. They smooth out the ups and downs, and they are a good counterbalance. Now, here's the really big news. Where should I not buy and sell this gold? Well, the we buy gold and silver signs are popping up all over the place. Those are places you do not want to go. Unfortunately, to the majority of these companies are out there, they're unregulated, and they're not licensed. They don't have a real fiduciary responsibility to you. Well, we do. We are licensed advisors, and we are regulated, and we have a license, and we'll take care of our clients. We do have a fiduciary responsibility to you. And just like not all insurance products are created equal, neither is gold and silver. But you might say, well, how's that possible? Well, there's a thin line on the sand that was drawn in 1933. So here we go. This is the secret sauce you've been waiting for. See, you'll see any anything gold or silver minted after 1933 is seen by the U.S. Treasury as a commodity, which is primarily designed to be held in your IRAs and your 401ks. And then there's some very stringent reporting requirements with those. Yes, it's good for the 10% hedge, but simply not good enough for most scenarios that you're going to find. Now, any currency minted, minted prior to 1933, but after 1867, is considered currency. Simply put, there's a much different reporting requirement. It's much friendlier to estate transfers and has other advantages that are a little less tangible, but no less powerful. Make sure that you ask one of our advisors about family gifting advantages. That's a huge benefit as well. So what you receive from us are pre-1933 coins, and they're a private asset. They're often used for non-qualified transactions, and that's your friend right now. We prefer the non-qualified transactions. These are the ones you don't have to do all the paperwork and have all the tax implications. But we can transfer a qualified if needed. There's just more paperwork for everyone. So you can physically possess these coins, and they act as currency. It is a private transaction meaning we do not need your social security number, we do not need extra documentation. It's the same when they're purchased, and it's the same when they're liquidated. It's considered currency. These coins are old, legal, tender coinage. The caveat here is that they are circulating, so we don't care about how shiny they are. These are not collectibles. 
We're actually just looking into what the privacy is and how it sits inside your portfolio. Another advantage we have is our 1031 exchange. That's the magical number. Remember at the beginning when I talked about if you already own 10% you were doing the right thing in gold and silver, but you didn't have these pre-1933 coins? Well, it's good that you already made the commitment to have that 10% protection, just weren't doing it correctly. But there's some good news. We can provide you a 1031 like-for-like -like exchange, just like in real estate transfers. There's zero fees or consequences, and you can trade up to these pre-1933 coins. So why work with us? Well, we not only have we been doing this for 40 plus years, we're also the closest thing possible to the source. I mean, we're like buying straight from the Ford factory direct rather than having to go through some dealership. Most places you have easy access to is retail, but we're wholesale. So on paper, we're also the only regulated gold and silver company in this space. But the huge difference is we're wholesale and everybody else is retail. So in closing, remember, let's just imagine we're all getting on that Titanic and it's sinking. I mean, we've been talking about how we've boarded this thing during the whole presentation. We know it's going to sink. I mean, we've hit the iceberg and we're sinking. What would you like for me to hand you? Would you like for me to hand you a certificate for a life vest? I mean, something you'd have to go redeem, maybe stand in line with everybody else and try to get one of these things while we're sinking? Or would you like to be holding the actual life vest in your hand? Something you'd make sure you had in advance. We just want to be sure you make this move before everything shifts again. The stock market drops due to all these business closings and other economic fallout we expect to come. Because again, as we know, gold and silver are going to rise when the others fall. So you want to buy our transfer now before that happens again. Now that you understand what's possible, I'm going to wind up so you can move forward towards safety. How do you take action and how do you get started with us? You can simply call the number on the screen, 404-516-4204, or you can go to talktogoldexpert.com. That's talktogoldexpert.com. And if you go there, you can book a time slot. It's super simple. And we'll give you a little mini questionnaire, and then the agent will be speaking with you. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to having this conversation.